Good day everybody, this is Nelika again. Okay, so let's continue now with this uh, lighting layout using this AutoCAD. Before I proceed with those other spotlights, I think I need to get the 60 by 60 or the, sorry, not the 60 by 60, the 30 by, um, 30 by 30 square LED engine. So let's go to the website and get this 2D if they have. And then I think we use this one. And yes, there is CAD ray. And then we choose the 840 high ray file, CAD file. Okay. And then let's say this one is square. And then let's open the square. And then extract it. And then say okay. And then let's go and check the square and let's open the CAD file. And so this is the square. So what we're going to do is we will copy this one. Let's delete. Command T E for delete. Yes, and then control C and then control V to our file. It's so big again it's in I think it's mm uh, scale or sc base point and then one over 100 uh, okay this is cm so let's move and see how it looks all right why is different size so let's block it uh, let's say this is square led panel and then Let's select the object and then pick a point. Press F3. Yes, to select the point and say OK. So now we have the LED panel. So we can now label it or layer it or uh, arrange it accordingly. OK, so what I did is I put an X on this one and then let's copy this one or let's move for now first. Let's move it. And then copy it to the other one, to the other um, LED panels. Yes, now it's in the center. All right. All right. Now we can use this one as a guide. Yes. So now we have now our LED panels, and now let's check for these down lights. Maybe we can use the the original this one or maybe we can use the 2d itself from this downlight so let's go and check the data uh, the calculation results and check this one and then check it into the, to the website control v control v control v control c and then open it and check the 2d Yes, they have the 2D. And then let's say yes. And then we will open it now. And then say no. And then we will copy this. Control C. And then let's go to our file. And then Control V. Now this is correct. I love this one. So we will uh, block this one because it's, uh, it's not blocked yet. So Control. Um, sorry. Uh, press uh, type B down light select object pick point okay yes this is correct <clears throat> and then let's go and um, okay I cannot place F3 no there's no middle of this circle so let's just assume it for now and then later when we, when we will put our dimension we will just f8 we will just uh, arrange it accordingly or precisely and then copy and then copy again and then let's copy it also to the other side Okay, 
we can um, make it precise later on the location when we run the uh, when we put our dimensions dimension is very important for the installers because they want to see the reference line where they're going to install the downlights for example so now we've finished uh, putting our LED panels and downlights and this one um, because we don't we don't have the 2d for this one so let's go to the uh, result and check the dimension it says the dimension is 1239 by 218 by 68 mm so we can create our own rectangle for this one so PL polyline <laughs> sorry was that again <laughs> 0 0.218 okay um, so 0.218 yes correct by 1.239 yeah by 1.239 to make it precise and then again 0.218 enter and then press C for close now we have one uh, we have now our fitting for uh, this uh, suspended fluorescent lamp and then you can put your press F3 maybe legend or code here just to show that it's um, um, it has a louver on it so now we have our suspended LED panel down lights and the spotlights I need to aim it and add it here on the side we also put a shelf light and also our LED strips I need to create a new layer for that because I made it red and then for the uh, for this spotlights on the display window I can just copy this one again and of course aim it to the mannequins and there you go so display window is done and for the walls let's just keep this one the layer from uh, the original one okay so that what it, what are the only missing now those spotlights to be in properly and also the LED strip with the proper layer and also LED strips to the other side of the cove ceiling and we're almost done yeah so let's continue working on it